Hey guys, this is Derek Duplessy, host of Purpose Rockstar. It's a podcast where we interview people who found purpose in their career in all kinds of fields. Today's interview is with David France, a good friend of mine. He is the top guy, the executive director for Revolution of Hope and the Roxbury Youth Orchestra. He went to the New England Conservatory and he learned about El Sistema and it was just, you know, love at first sight. He went over to Venezuela, saw the awesome work that was going on teaching young children classical music. Um, and he said that he could bring this to the inner city in Boston, in Roxbury. And it's just been incredible just to think about his journey, his story from a very small island in the Caribbean to, you know, really make sacrifices to make his dream come true. So this guy would sleep on couches and he would sleep on the concrete here in the city. He would play in the subway, still plays in the subway to this day, just to make his dream come true. So I know you really, really enjoy this interview. I was on the verge of tears while I was uh, conducting it. So just being there on that stage with those amazing musicians from all over the world, I really started to really um, wonder, well, what about those people who didn't have access to the kind of training that I eventually fought for? What about those other people? And really wondering what it would look like if we could provide the best training to people that maybe couldn't afford it. And so um, eventually I was living in Bermuda. Um, actually, in 2009 I was living in Bermuda, and I saw a video of... Um, this orchestral um, empire in Venezuela called El Sistema, founded by Dr. Jose Antonio Breu, and they're using orchestras and choirs to transform the lives of inner city youth. And, and their best orchestras are some of the best um, orchestras in the world. And I thought, wow, that's what I want to do. And so um, I applied to a fellowship at the New England Conservatory, which is in conjunction with Venezuela and TED, and um, I won. I got to be one of the 10 people selected to be trained to bring this music for social change idea from Venezuela around the world. And so I came to Boston and also had a little um, stint in Venezuela. And when we were in Venezuela, um, our last week there, we pulled up to this really um, to this dangerous street in this one city on the coast. And they said, if you're going to volunteer here, you have to leave before the sun goes down. Um, and so I thought, yes, this is my spot. And so we get out the van and we meet this wonderful lady named Isandra Campos, who a year before we got there moved out of her house with her five kids and with her mother so that the kids on that street could have orchestra practice in her house. And um, it was really amazing. Seven days a week, she had a morning session for the kids to go to school in the afternoon. She had an afternoon session for the kids to go to school in the morning. And she was transforming the lives of these kids. And the music coming out of the house was so inspirational because people would sit on their porches outside of, the, outside of her house and listen to the music. And little kids would look into the windows on their tippy toes to see what was going on. And um, one day she took me to the back of the house and where she had chickens, and she made me pick these chicken eggs, and I'd never picked chicken eggs. She said, everyone that comes has to pick the eggs, so I'm picking eggs. And she said to me, do you know what I do with these eggs? And uh, I thought, well, there's a lot of kids that come to this house. Uh, maybe you scramble them. And she's like, no, shut up. I, I, I sell them. <laughs> um, she sells the eggs for one bolivar each, and that's how she buys the music for the kids. Wow. wow. And so I thought, when I come back to Boston, where am I going to move out of my house and sell chicken eggs on, what, on behalf of what community? And uh, when I came back to Boston from Venezuela, I really fell in love with Roxbury, um, this community, this rich and strong african American based community um, with people like Malcolm X coming out of there and New Edition and just musical, musical stars and just civil rights leaders came out of there and I thought I would love to invest in this community and so um, after I graduated from the conservatory I spent the next um, half a year um, knocking on doors riding my bike meeting random people to set up this this orchestra and so um, that's that's been the journey from I guess the beginning of the 20th century until now you know there's more to that interview yeah more and you can find all of it at PurposeRockstar.com. The link is right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. So it's really, really awesome that you can go to PurposeRockstar.com. If you're one of those on-the-go Apple people, you 
could check it out on iTunes. There's the link. And for my non-Apple people, I'm going to make sure there's a link on Stitcher somewhere next to me. So you got iTunes, Stitcher, and PurposeRockstar.com. Tell your friends. Tell your family. We're on Twitter and Facebook. And somehow we'll be on LinkedIn. I don't know. But at least we'll be on Twitter and Facebook. And one final favor. Pursue your purpose. It needs you. Um, so five days a week, three hours a day, um, string instruments, violin, viola, and cello. And we really invest in the lives of inner city youth um, for the purpose of not only their musical, artistic expression, but also their, their social development.